Jesus. Just get me to the hospital. I says, I am hurting. See? And by then, man, I had big boils all over my back, man. She loved me, you see, and she had a problem. And her problem was this. She explained to me. She, she says, you know, I had a problem, da 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 I said, what's that? She says, I love you. I said, well, OK, great. Then you love me. I like you, too. So I ain't no problem with it. But see, there's one thing she didn't tell me. You know, I find out after the incident happened that she was married, had three kids. I didn't know none of these things. I asked her, you know, before when I first met her, say, are you married? She says, no, no, I'm not married. So she told her friend, Barbara, and you better not tell him. So Barbara says, well, you know, I'm not going to tell him, but you're going to have to tell him sooner or later. I never knew any of these things until after the incident happened. She says, well, I love you, and I don't want to, you know, to go on without you and to be involved in anything else doesn't mean anything to me. I says, well, please don't take that much of a do or die attitude about things. I said, man, you know, there's life to live. I didn't know it was that serious, see? You know, because I didn't, you know, I told her that it was life to live. We just put out this song called Sha La La, Make Me Happy, you know, and you're free, I'm free, boom. You know, no problem. So, you know, after the session, we went to the house, you know, and I'm in the, you know, fixing coffee, da da da, you know, da da da. So she asked me if I would marry her. I says, Oh no, I don't think I'm ready to get married. This is 1974. I mean, I've just been in this two or three years. You know, she said, well, I sure love you. I said, well, okay, well then, let's think on it a while, would you? You know, and, um, you know, I went to the, you know, and there was more people in the house other than us, you know, you know, and so I went to my, section, I have a kind of like an apartment in the house, you know, and I closed the door, you know. And, you know, and afterwards and all the other stuff, you know, uh, and I went downstairs, I said, why are you boiling water? She said, mm, you know, so I said, so I went back, you know, up, and I left the door open that time, and she came back up. I seen this whole pot of water, and all of a sudden, I'm full of it, you know. And I had all this little thin, you know, uh, kind of a thin rope. Cause see, like I'm fixing to get ready to dethorn and go to bed, right? So, boom, man, I'm in total pain and shock, you know. Burn yeah. Burn. Wasn't it yeah. Well, you see, you mix this stuff in and make it kind of slimy, thick, you know. And I'm saying, like, what is this, you know? And all of a sudden, I'm full of it, you know. So this is so much pain, man. And I reach back, man, and I got a two fingers full of skin. I went over, uh, after being full of grits, I jumped in the shower because I'm ate all over, and I called this girl from next door uh, over to help me because I'm in total, you know, and man, I've got these big boils on my skin, and like, man, I'm telling you, I'm in total pain. I can't believe the pain. All of a sudden, you hear and that was the end of that. You hear something hit the floor, boom. And that was the end of that. I said, what's that noise? She said, sound like gunshots. I said, next can't be that. Come on, this is ridiculous. This thing is going crazy. I go over here, boom. Here this lady is lying in the floor. Here this pistol is in her hand. I'm saying, oh my God, what in the world? Call the police. She said, but, but this is crazy. I said, call the police. I, said, I don't, I, hey, just call the police. So I called my brother Bill. And he picked up Cheryl Hodges, and we called the sheriff's department. That's all, the, you know, I said, hey, man, this is, just get me to the hospital. I says, I am hurting, see? And by then, man, I had big boils all over my back, man. I said, man, this is crazy, man. I can't understand any of this. You were in the hospital so I went to the hospital, and I stayed in the hospital, and they dealt with all of that. But now the thing I want to ask you today that I really don't believe today if that actually happened. And I'm not joking. I'm asking you a question. 
was that really true? And that's a fact, and I'm not planning for the movie. But I ask people today, I'll sneak off and ask the chief of police uh, today, who's a good friend of mine, I says, did this actually, did this, or was she faking? Or was she joking? I, I don't, that's unbelievable, see? So I didn't, I didn't really believe that. And today I have trouble with it. If I focus in on it one-on-one, -on -one, I have trouble believing that it happened.